Hey guys, Steve here. In this video, I want to teach you how to create a PayPal button. Um, you know, with, with all of these 100% commission programs, which I love, and even with, when you're setting up your own business, you like to put buttons in different places to uh, allow people to pay via PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, and all of these other things. Um, so what I want to do is show you how to get into your PayPal account create the link so that you can put it in a button or do whatever you need to do. So uh, so I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. I have a, a PayPal button for a particular platform that I'm promoting. That's a lot of Pippa P's, I always say that. But uh, it's called the IPS system, and let me uh, minimize this, and I'll show you my PayPal. Pay, pay, payment page, right? Jeez. So here's my payment page for the IPS system. Okay, so it's uh, it's just something I do. I uh, I modeled after one of my mentors, and it it works great, right? So here's a, a Stripe account button that takes me to Stripe. Here's a PayPal button that takes me to PayPal. But the magic is, right, is when I click the PayPal button, it takes me directly to the page that tells me how much I need to pay, and that's that fifty dollars. So what I want to do in this video is show you how to get into PayPal create the link for this button and possibly towards the end I'll show you I'll I'll clone this page and show you how to put it in the button using uh, the power lead system because that's where I created my page of course you can use the same technique um, and put it wherever you want to because all it is is a link but I want to show you how to create the link how do you assign it the the currency amount and uh, and all of that so anyway without further ado let's jump into uh, so what we're going to do here, and uh, let me mini minimize this screen a little bit more so we can get down to it. So let's close this. I love 100% uh, commission programs because the payments come directly to you, right? And what other way, the best way you, you can do it is having a payment page dedicated for the type of payments that you want to accept, right? Uh, to give people a, a variety of what a variety of ways they could pay you. It's awesome, right? So anyway, so what we want to do is first we want to log into, uh, I keep clicking on the wrong screen, we want to log into PayPal, right? And you want to, if you don't have an account, you want to just go through the process of, let's throw this down here. You want to go through the process of uh, signing up and doing whatever, whatever you need to do to uh, sign up. So I already have an account. Most people already have an account. So you just log in, right? Let's see if I can log in. I don't. All right, so once you get into the back office here, uh, you do is, all you do is go up to help, click help, right? And you type in up here and you just type in create payment uh, button, right? And you hit uh, search and it brings up this right here. You go to how do I add a payment button? You click that, this is the quickest way, right? Uh, then you scroll down and you click PayPal payment button and you click that. I mean, it's super simple. Okay. Uh, so then of course you got all of these variety of different buttons here that you can make, right? Even a do donate button if you want to automatic billing button. But what we're focusing on is the buy now button. You click there. Okay. Once you click the buy now button, It'll take you to this screen, right? And where what this does is it allows you to populate the specifics. So say uh, I want to make this for the daily takeover, right? So what I'll do is I'll type in daily, oops, daily takeover. Uh, daily takeover, right? there and it's a it's a hundred dollar payment okay uh, now I'm just gonna put no monthly fees right the price for the daily to take over if you didn't know is a one-time $100 payment so the price will be $100 right and the currency will be US dollars so what you do is you'll scroll down this will be the button that the, they see which I already have copied pretty much into my other platform. 
you'll come down here and you'll select use my primary email address which is usually which should be your paypal address so you click that right then you click uh let's make sure everything is the same this is what you want to see hundred dollars right uh daily takeover no monthly fees and this is you just click create button and that's as simple as it is right so you click create button it does this thing and then when you come down here you click on email right and now it gives you this link you click it and you select you uh right click and you hit copy now what i do what you should do is take it and you can put it on a notepad okay so you see this long link and that is the link that you use to put into a button and i want to show you that the link works so let's take this link again let's copy it control c now let's go to incognito window and we'll see incognito and i want to show you where this link will take you right so you go click here and you would just uh oops i'm on the wrong screen click here control v now that just put that whole link there so if i hit enter it takes me to paypal and it says 100 dollars. you see that so that's how much the person needs to pay when they log in tells you exactly your amount hundred dollars usd and that's how you make the button so everything that you need is in this link right here so what i would do uh in the next video is i'm going to show you how to uh put it into a button and i can summarize it real quick because all i would do is come into my back office of my power lead system i would i could just do it right now so uh i would come here and i would just hit my edit i already have my template already copied and cloned i would just come to edit here and i would go um to where i want my button to, my new button to be right so i can go here double click and i would just paste that new link right but that was the wrong one hold on cancel okay no that, yeah that, yeah that's the right one that's the right one so just let me make sure i will come here and i would just put my link here and i would hit Control v and i will hit okay now i copy that link to where that button is and i on my system i hit save and so when i go view right so when i click on uh view again let's go back to the page now when i come to my my uh my paypal button down here it should take me see here's the old paypal here's the old button just show you real quick that it did change here's the old button i click here and it goes to uh it should go to the 50 dollars one right i just want to show you that it did it did in fact change if i'm not logged in oh it's trying to log me in shoot <laughs> so anyway it's trying to log me in so here's 50 dollars. see you see how it says that so let's close that that's the old that's the old button on my ips system but the new button on this one, I just want to be able to show you, this is the PayPal button that I programmed to go to the new payment. So now I click this one. That's where we pasted it for the daily takeover. You can see that up here in the, up in the comments. And see, it took me to the $100. So that link right there is the link that you would use for your whatever button you're trying to program, right? And that's as easy as it is. So you saw how we did it in the back office. You saw how we took, we clicked email, got this link, and we pasted it uh, wherever we wanted to put the link, the, the picture of the button. We just click the link, and uh, you can click it and take you to wherever you want to, and which takes me to this page, which tells the person how much they, uh, how much they owe. So anyway, it's a super quick video. But in the next video, I'll do a little bit more and show you how to create a Stripe button, uh, Venmo button, and other things. But this is, I just wanted to show you how to create a PayPal button by logging into PayPal, going through the menu, getting to where the payment uh, buttons are created, assigning it a value, and uh, copying the link and pasting it wherever you want to put it. It could be a website, it could be a link, it could be an email link, it could be whatever. You can put it in an email. But uh, anyway, that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed the content. And uh, like, share, subscribe, and I'm out.